Hi, I'm DJ Shears. In this video, we're going to introduce the EZB V4. Inside every EZB V4 shell are two circuit boards sandwiched together with pins. There are a whole whack of pins connecting these together. On the bottom board of the EZB is your microcontroller. It's hard to see inside, but if you were to look inside and separate the two boards, you would notice that there's a 32-bit micro running at 120 megahertz with a little heat sink on it. There's also a digital switching power supply and a resettable fuse, which means that you don't actually have to take the fuse out. It'll reset itself once you stop giving it power. There's also an audio amplifier. And if you turn the EZB around, you'll see here that there's a speaker. And the two connections for the speaker are right here. So inside of the shell, the speaker fits inside and it lines up to the uh, connections there. And again, here's your power. On the top part of the board, this is the part that you will see and interact with, you'll notice here that there's a large antenna. This is your Wi-Fi antenna. This is what produces your Wi-Fi signal. As well as there's another 80 megahertz processor running in here that controls your TCP stack and the built-in web server. So that makes this board run at a total of 200 megahertz. There are uh, two L RGB LEDs. One of them is here, and uh, one of them else is on the board. You will notice the, uh, the color of the RGB LED change based upon different activities, and we'll get to that in a later video. The uh, digital pins along the side here, and the digital pins along the side here. You'll notice the labels along the side, as well as the ADC labels, the UART labels, the I2C ports here, and the camera port there. So that covers the inside of the EZB. Pretty powerful little robot controller, of course, by EZ Robot. <laughs>